Right then, hello and welcome back to Sports Car GT, getting ready for round two of the GT3 campaign. Uh, before we get started though, I will just quickly mention that uh, the slowdown and frame lagging issues that we had last time at Desert Speedway, um, I did a bit of research and I found out that it is an actual glitch with the resolution of the game. So if I go to graphics, uh, before I was using the uh, 1024 768 resolution. Now that has a few little issues when it comes to graphical glitches, anomalies, and slowdown as well. So I've had to use uh, 800 by 600. It shouldn't do anything quality-wise to the videos itself, um, but it also fixes a few other issues as well, like the smoke, the unbearable smoke that was covering everything. That seems to have calmed down a little bit, and the game runs a lot smoother than it did. Um, but yeah, it's a Apparently due to the uh, the latest patch release, uh, which causes the game to just lag and judder and everything else. So there's nothing I could do about that for the previous round, but hopefully this should fix uh, the issues for round two. So uh, yeah, we'll get ready then. Uh, we're leading the championship. Again, this game is incredibly easy. You can win pretty much every single race, no problem. Uh, so we're leading by uh, 11 points to 7 from Bill Orbelin and Mark Duez with 5 points. So uh, I'll show you as well the upgrades that I put on the car last time. Full weight reduction, full racing tires, and just one click on the suspension. I'm not going to do anything else to the car. That is the only upgrades I'm going to give this thing. Um, so we're now racing at Lime Rock Park for round two and it's going to be a 35 minute race so this should be quite a good one so i will see you then for the race start here we are then and off we go as you can see the smoke is still fairly hard at the start but it doesn't go completely white throughout the whole screen it actually does look like smoke now so i'm still getting some frame lag uh, so yeah, not 100% fixed, but again, it's an old game, what do you expect? Uh, excuse me, Mr. Porsche, I will squeeze past you. And... Ooh, everyone is going a little bit wide. Which is fine. Ooh, that gravel really does pull you in. It's the first time racing around Lime Rock, so I need to get used to this circuit. I've seen it being raced on many times, like with the IMSA coverage and everything else, but never raced on it myself. Ooh, car again getting squirrely under brakes, which is to be expected. Excuse me. Now, another thing that could be causing the frame rate issues would be probably the latest release I got on the AMD card. Um, every single time I update the, uh, the graphics card, some games don't like to run very well, let's just say. Uh, I did have an issue though, I had to upgrade to the optional version of the latest drivers because for some weird reason, the, the version that I was running uh, Windows Update tried giving me a chipset for the, the actual drivers themselves. Uh, that would completely crash the AMD software because it was, I think it was for Windows 11, uh, which I don't have. I only have Windows 10. So I had to upgrade to an optional patch for the AMD. And I have noticed that some games don't run as smooth as they used to. Um, but downgrading is not an option because, again, Windows Update says... Oh, you've got uh, the wrong chipset. Here you go. Here's the Windows 11 one. And it's constant. It does it automatically. Then the screen flickers and then everything crashes and goes completely weird. So, yeah, nothing I can do about that, sadly. So, but uh, it won't be too long before I get the system upgraded again. Jay is going to pop up in New Year uh, and take this system away and uh, upgrade it to a better graphics card so I'm going to be getting rid of the RX 570 that I've currently got and I think it's the oh, I can't remember what graphics card it is but it's an NVIDIA I think it's a, the 480 Ti or something like that or 980 Ti 980 Ti so it's not a huge huge upgrade by any stretch of the imagination but it's going to be a lot better than the graphics card that I do have currently 
And I've never had an NVIDIA card. All my cards I've had ever since I've had a PC have always been AMD. And to be honest, they're not that great. There's been so many issues where I've had uh, problems with AMD. Um, regardless of what it is, maybe the, you know, some games they work one day and then the next uh, they don't. And, and yeah, this graphics card is very temperamental. So... It's a, it's a little bit strange, and constant, um, it's like a, a lag spike every few minutes or so. It's like a, the game just locks up for like a fraction of a second. Uh, that happens on every game that I've got. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, so, yeah, I will be very pleased when this thing does get upgraded, and uh, hopefully be able to push the system just a little bit harder. Not on these games, obviously, because these games are about 50,000 years old. And as I've mentioned, older games, even though they do run on newer systems, some of them, um, the... Ooh, that wasn't very good, but a run on the outside, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, they do tend to stutter a little bit, older games. Um, you're, you will be very lucky if you run an old game that is over 20 years old. That runs flawlessly without any graphical issues or lag issues and this that, and the other. So, um, the fact that this game works as well as it does, even with the slight slowdown or frame lags, you know, is pretty good. So, no complaints so far. And we've moved our way up into second place while I was waffling on. And again, the, the Celine is so bloody quiet. You can barely hear the engine at all. Ooh, don't spin it. So we're gaining on the BMW. Maybe a little bit of a tighter line. Can go through there pretty flat out, but I choose not to, just to keep the tighter lines and gain the time that I'm losing on the BMW, so. So we're already five minutes in, uh, or six minutes in, 29 seconds, or 29 minutes and three seconds to go. And you can see in the rearview mirror that the smoke, oh, is not like a blanket of white anymore. It's, it looks like smoke. It doesn't cover the entire racetrack. So that is one of the issues that were plaguing the, the higher resolution was the, the game just couldn't render it properly. Uh, it was just uh, bugged and a bit glitched and this, that and the other. So come on, get back here, please. There you go. There's that little frame blip, the little lag spike that you get. Um, that... Like I said, that happens on every game that I've tried on this system. Uh, I don't know what causes it or anything else. I don't have anything running in the background other than the recording software. So, yeah, no idea. It's just one of those uh, one of those anomalies that you cannot find. Right, excuse me, Mr. BMW. I do want to take the lead at some point. There we go. He's going to go wide. I'm going to take the lead before we get into this turn, hopefully. Or not. I'm just going to spin because I put one wheel on the grass. Oh, no. The smoke does still cover the entire track. Oh, well. Not a problem. All right. You can sod off. Oh, he pushed me, clipped me in the rear. But again, as you've seen from the previous race as well, this game is so easy. You go into the pits and you can just undercut everybody every single time. So, a few little biffs here, there, and everywhere, like there. It doesn't really make any odds whatsoever. So 
So these laps as well are incredibly short, under a minute. Like 48 seconds is my fastest, so we're looking at around about 40 laps there or thereabouts. Fuel is slowly starting to run low. Come on, get off the dirt. Just have to keep an eye on the fuel. I don't really have to keep an eye on the fuel. I do get a warning when the fuel is low. So this might even be a two-stop race. Hold on a minute. That's not the, uh, the same BMW we had last time, is it? Or is that a lapped car? I think that might be a lapped car. Well, we'll find out when we get past him. Give him a bit of a draft. This car really does suck on the straights. No, don't spin it. Why did you spin it there for? You didn't do anything. Bloody moron. Oh, you can sod off as well, Macy. Now, there is another game-breaking glitch uh, with this game as well, is that sometimes tracks don't load. They crash when you try and load up a race. And I did have that issue with Chatham. Uh, I was doing a few test races with Chatham uh, a couple of days ago, and the game just would crash. The, the track wouldn't load. It said that the, uh, the track wasn't there, uh, even though we've raced on it before on the GTQ class. Um, but again, that is with the higher resolution issue. Once you put it down to 800 by 600, um, it seems to fix the problem. Oh, come on. Bloody lap traffic. The day game developers can create a racing game where the back markers obey blue flags will be a very joyous occasion. Right, another lap is in the books. Uh, haven't beaten our lap record yet of 48. Right, can we get past this bloody idiot? There we go. Oh, and I've gone wide again, exactly the same place as the previous lap. Bloody hell. Well, at least I'm being consistent. But how crap I'm driving. You need consistency to win races. Well, I'm being consistently shit. So there we go. I think this might actually be a two-stop race. Looking at the fuel... I think this definitely might be a two-stopper. Right, I'm going to get past the BMW and not go wide on this bloody corner this time. There we go. I can follow racing lines like the best of them. Yeah, the leader is now half a lap ahead. So we got a lot of work to do. All this faffing about. Hopefully he should get caught up on some back markers because he is coming up to lap. Quite a hefty gaggle of cars. And a new course record, 47.71. Nice. Isn't helping me now though by not catching up with the leader. No, oh, almost did the same thing again. Hear the announcers on the loudspeakers around the track. Again, a nice little touch of detail with the game. Uh, 
Okie dokie, we are gaining on the leader. And another new course record, 4755. At this rate, it might even get into the 46s. Which is what I'm going to attempt to do. Now, another thing with this game as well is that you can either run it with software or 3D hardware. Ah, there we go. Fuel warning, so I'm going to dive into the pits now. Come on, where's the pit entry? There it is. Um, yeah, that's done. So we get our fuel. Um, but yeah, if you uh, run the N-Glide uh, patch or N-Glide uh, add-on to run 3D FX games, um, there is glitches with that as well, rather than using the, uh, the 3D hardware. Um, but of course, with the new graphics cards, 3D hardware is not an option you can use, because the game just doesn't run. It will not load, so... Right, here we go, back out. We are now in ninth place. Some fresh boots and a full tank of fuel. Now we just gotta make our way past all these again. And we will undercut the uh, leader when he goes into the pits, so that's not going to be a problem. And a lot of smoke up ahead. Looks like a bomb's gone off. Excuse me. Alright, anyone else in the pits yet? Uh, doesn't look like it. We were actually close to being lapped. If we had been in the pits any longer, we would have probably have been lapped. But yeah, this is not going to be enough fuel to make it to the end, so we're going to have to make another stop, I think. With about five minutes to go-ish. But going back to the whole older games and causing issues with systems and this, that, and the other, um, I get massive issues with world racing. Uh, whenever I finished doing a session, oh yeah, we got into the 46s, cool. Uh, yeah, whenever I've finished recording a video of world racing, the system lags. Not the game, the actual computer system itself. Uh, windows, you can't scroll through. Um, it's like the system is running at 100%. And you can't do anything, you have to restart the system to get it to free up again. And uh, you get that with some games where the process is still running in the background, but it doesn't know what it's doing, so it causes the system to sort of go into this overdrive state. And that's exactly what it does with World Racing. So if you try and open, say, Windows Explorer, it takes like five seconds for it to load. Um, yeah, it's, it's really bizarre. Oh well, these things were meant to try us, I suppose. Right, we're up into fifth after a few cars went into the pit, so I'm going to try and squeeze past this doofer. There's my teammate. Is he actually in... Oh, race midpoint. We actually do get the uh, race midpoint little banner coming up now. And uh, yes, he is in fifth place, or has he been lapped? I don't know. I went past him too, but I think he is for position. So, my teammate is currently in fifth, by the looks of it. A few more cars going into the pits as well. We're up into second. Not sure if the leader has gone in yet, but if he has, then we should be able to catch him soon. There's 14th place ahead. The leader is just in front of him. There he is. Just seemed like a little black flash. In front. There he is. Just going around the corner now. So he has definitely gone into the pits. Ooh.
Last corner again. Get past you. Don't come across into my line. And new course record, 45.8. Bloody hell. We're getting faster and faster around this place. And here I was saying, oh, we only get into the 46s. We might even get faster. Let's see if we can get a 44 second lap time. That'd be cool. Getting into a lot of lap traffic, so... Hopefully they won't slow us down so we can get a good lap time. Don't cut across. You imbecile, get out of the way. That's right, we'll draft him for a bit. Is this going to be a 44? No. Nowhere near. Oi, excuse me, you're lapped. Once again, I don't like that in some games where the AI do not realize that you exist. Is they carry on following their racing lines. If you get up the side of them, they, they, their AI pathing is to such a state where it doesn't... They don't recognize that you are an entity on the circuit. A lot of games do that. And it drives me completely insane. What other game does that as well? can't remember what it was now. Um, no, I can't remember for the life of me what game that has that issue. But a lot of them do, especially the earlier games. You know, with uh, you know more limited AI abilities. But we're going to take the lead from this doofer in just a second. Oh, more smoke, more bombs going off. And there we go. We are now officially in the lead. Our job is now to keep it. If the AI or the back markers will get out of the way. There's the ugly panels. Really don't like the panels. They're just but ugly. There you go. See, he just cuts across. Doesn't even acknowledge that I'm on his inside or on the outside. We've still got quite a while of the race to go. 13 minutes 26 on the clock. So we've done almost 20 minutes worth of racing. I don't even know what lap we're on at the moment either. Fuel is going down very quickly. Looks like the leader has dropped back. We're now pulling away by, I think, a quarter of a lap now. There are other camera views as well. Let me just scroll through them. I think it's a V. There you go. There's my lovely uh, Mustang. Oh, 
a lot harder to handle when you're in chase cam or swingman cam. We'll go back in. Oh no, that's the oh, that was the wrong view. Oh, another bomb's gone off. It does look like an explosion. You know, with that amount of smoke, you would think that a car has expired on the side of the track and it's just billowing smoke, but that doesn't happen on this game. No cars retire. Except for you. Uh, you're the only one that can get uh, damage or this, that, and the other to retire from a race. I've not seen the AI retire yet. It might happen. It could happen. I've just not seen it yet, so. Pass car 17. He'll just cut into my line again. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. Oh, I'm just going to take a little wee spin. Come on. There we go. Well, it's a good job that we have a massive lead, so... No one's going to even come close. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to have to pit with about five minutes to go. My fuel is not looking great. I'm just going to have to fuel save around every corner, I think. Just let off a lot earlier than I would like. There's half throttle it around some of the corners as well. That bloody lag spike again. And of course, we have to get past car bloody 17 again. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh no, a little touch in the rear. Eight minutes, 17 to go. We're on the last little bit of fuel. I think we've got enough of a lead that we can just go into the pits, refuel a little bit and come out still in the lead. I'll see how it goes. I think, well, actually, I don't know if we can stretch this. Oh, another car's gone around. Excuse me. I don't know if we'll be able to stretch the fuel for another seven and three quarter minutes. my teammate again. Where is he? I think he's dropped right back. Or he might still be in fifth. Oh, excuse me. Oh, my word. Not what I wanted to happen, but it happened anyway. Yeah, I'm getting a low fuel warning again. Uh, I might have to go in. I'll do it now, actually. Just get it over and done with. Just fill up on about a quarter tank of fuel. That'll see us to the end. This is rather annoying. Right, uh, fuel. Yeah, done. 
It's going to be 12 seconds, apparently. And I'm in second. Yay! Come on. Well, I do hope that the other drivers go into the pits as well. I'm going to be rather miffed if I'm the only one. But I have a gut feeling that might end up being the case. Now, we've got five minutes to go. We can catch up. Not like that we're not going to. Come on. Okay, five minutes, 18 to go. Oh, we are in second again, so they are going back into the pits to top up on fuel. Good, that's what I like to see. Again, another explosion of smoke. That's 11th place in front. Away. Had a nasty lag spike there. Okay, leader is about a quarter of a lap ahead. These last three corners we can take flat out, so I think we should gain a little bit of time here. But the timer is ticking down. No, get off the grass. Three minutes and 54 seconds. A few more cars are in the pits as well. Right, so that's 6th and 5th in front, and I do believe my teammate is in 5th place. Yes, he is. Oh no, he's not. That's a Porsche. Where's my teammate then? Has he dropped back again? Maybe he's in 4th. Who knows? Ah, the leader's in the pits. Cool. And another new course record, 45-7. There we go, retaking the lead, so it was a two-stop strategy. God, the game lagged a hell of a lot there. Out of the gravel. No, you're lapped cars, you shouldn't be fighting me for a position, so bugger off. Okay, where's second place? He's dropped right back again. Thankfully. Now, who is that we're coming up to? That looks... No, I've done it again. Bloody corner. I think I can carry a lot more speed through that corner when I can't. Right, so that car in front is fourth place, so we've lapped everyone up to fifth at the moment. And I'm hoping, because that car is black and white, 
hoping that that might be my teammate and if it is he's in fourth place 14th place is in the pits and so is 15th is that my teammate no it's another bloody porsche damn it got just under a minute to go so this should be two laps oh no it won't be two laps so this is going to be the final lap then right he's going into the pits and we are now on the final lap hooray so what did i say 40 laps ish I think it might be a bit more than that because we did have some very, very good lap time. So I'm reckon, oh, 44 to 45 laps. Another low fuel warning. Oh, we have, we are on low fuel. Um, yeah, yeah, sorry, we'll make it to the end. Half throttle it. And there we go, race two and another victory. So again, this, this game, very easy. And there we go. And 42 laps, oh, I was fairly close. 35 minutes, 11.6. And we are first, hooray! And where did everyone else finish? So we'll just wait for the list to show up. Uh, so we get the victory then, where did my teammate finish? 15th place. Price Cobb, you are an absolute dingus. Bloody hell. Well, you know, I suppose you have to uh, grin and bear it, but yeah, why do I always get the really crappy teammates? Bloody hell. Oh well, enough of that. I will see you then for the point standing so far after two of six rounds. And here we are then, so uh, current race base earnings is 12,000, 35,999 and 17,999 for both difficulty and race length bonus. So that'll increase massively once we get into the longer race events. Uh, so we get another 65,000 that pushes us up to uh, 132,000 and now we're leading Bill Orbelin, or Bill Orbelin, sorry by uh eight points so not too much at the moment uh mark duez and scott peeler and joe campana and rick stein the top six at the moment i think they are the only point scorers oh no we do have uh steve pelk uh with a point as well so only seven of the 16 cars have scored points so far and uh, my teammate is uh where is he price cobb is currently 11th overall in the standings well not really he's tied eighth with everybody else so, yeah, there we go then. That is uh, race two done. And uh, next time is going to be round three at Sardian Park. It's only going to be a 20-minute race, this one. So it's going to be a lot shorter. And we'll get on with that next time. So thank you very much for watching, as always. And I'll see you then. Bye for now.